Hello friend, welcome to your channel Pharmacy Dictionary. In today's lecture, we are going to discuss about some Nobel Prize winner for the discovery which are related to the pharmacology. In our last video, we have discussed about their contribution for the betterment of pharmacology as well as for the betterment of medical society. Now in this video, let's shortlist those scientists which are rewarded with the Nobel Prize for their useful and very important invention or discoveries. First of all, we have to discuss about the Sir Frederick Grant Banting and James Richard McLeod. In 1923, they were awarded with the Nobel Prize for the discovery of insulin. As you know it very well, insulin is a one of the important hormone that maintains the blood sugar level. If there is reduction in the level of insulin due to any of the reason, either autoimmune disorder or any destruction of pancreas or beta cells, that may be converted into hyperglycemic condition. That means elevation of blood sugar level and that may convert it into a diabetes. So to control the diabetes, there is need of insulin either by injecting insulin from external source or by giving those agents which can increase the production of insulin from the pancreas or affecting the beta cell of Langerhans of pancreas. So he discovered penicillin and that was a really life-saving drug for the patient of diabetes. Now coming to the next scientist, Sir Henry Hallett Dell and O.T. Lowy. In 1936, these years are very important for GPAT and other competition exam point of view. He discovered the chemical transmission in nerve. Now see, there are so many nerves present in our body. These are like wires, like electric wire available in our house or home. So he discovered that there is a transmission of chemicals from one nerve to the other with the help of transmission and that are called neurotransmitters. So this discovery helped a lot for the development of some messenger substance or convey of message from the one part to another part. Now coming to the next scientist, he was Sir Gerhard de Mag. In 1936, again the same year, he discovered the antimicrobial effect of prontosil, which was an azodice. Antimicrobial are those agents which are used to inhibit the growth of microorganism or sometimes they are used to completely kill or eradicate the microorganism from the given sample of object. A agent which reduce the growth of microorganism or make it constant is called bacteriostatic. But those agents which kill the microorganism completely are called or considered as a bacteriocidal in case of bacteria and microbiocidal in case of different types of microorganism. Now coming to the one of the most and uh, prestigious discovery in field of microbiology as well as in the pharmacology and that was done by Sir Alexander Fleming. This is one of the most important theory I must say. He discovered the penicillin and its curative effect. That year was 1945. Penicillin was a serendipity. That means Sir Alexander Fleming was not intended to discover penicillin by his own choice, but that took place by accidentally. So such kind of activity or such kind of invention which are not intended really, they are called serendipity. So penicillin is one of the most important, one of the most potent and having less side effect for antimicrobial therapy point of view. And the discovery goes for the Dr. Sir Alexander Fleming and he was awarded with the Nobel Prize again in 1945. That has to be remembered because it is very important. Now coming to the next contribution by Philip Hench Edward. He discovered the adrenal cortical hormone in 1950s. I am saying it again, you have to remember it very carefully. Coming to the next one that is Sir Bernard Katz. ULF von Euler and Julius Axelrod. In 1970, there was a discovery of humoral transmission in nerve terminals and the mechanism of their storage, release and inactivation. In future videos, we will see about the neurohumoral transmission. The neurohumoral transmission is based on the principle that any stimulus comes to the body either by different kinds of sensory nerve ending or our sense organ then there is a release of different kinds of neurotransmitter the release of neurotransmitter is uh, is further controlled by their storage and the release and after their completion of task they get inactivated so this kind of completely sequential step was given by sir bernard katz now coming to the next contribution that was earl wilbur sutherland and in 1971 there was identification of cyclic AMP identification of glucagon was done by themselves. Next contribution and awarding of Nobel Prize in Pharmacology or Medicine was Sir James B. Black. 
In 1988, there was a discovery of beta blocker and principle of drug treatment. Beta blockers are very important drug which are used to manage several cardiovascular problem like hypertension. Beta blocker block the beta adrenergic receptor and inhibit the binding of beta adrenergic signal so that there is no contraction of blood vessels and there is reduction in hypertension or we can say there is a maintenance of hypertension or we can also say that is there is a regulation of blood pressure on its normal value coming to the next slide next scientist was erlin neheller and bird salkman in 1991 all these years are very important he discovered the functioning of single ion channel in cell what is the meaning of ion channel ion channels are basically a simply path channel way or door by which different types of ion move across the cell membrane that is called as a ion channel now alfred g gilman and martin rodbell in 1994 they were awarded with the nobel prize for the discovery of g protein and their role in signal transduction g protein coupled receptor are so much important in pharmacology and we have to study it in upcoming lectures and he discovered also the signal transduction with the help of g protein which regulates so many body functional function as well as pharmacological activity now coming to the next contribution for which they have awarded with the nobel Nobel Prize was Robert F. Forgot. In 1998, there was a discovery of the role of nitric oxide as a signaling molecule in cardiovascular system, and for that discovery, he was awarded with a Nobel Prize. Now, Paul Greengrad in 2000. a uh, discovery of signal transduction in nervous system also took place and for that they were awarded with the nobel prize next scientist sir robin warren and baron j marshall in 2005 there was a discovery of helicobacter and its role in peptic ulcer disease this was one of the most important and well known discovery and a well known recognition for the nobel prize he was challenged by them sir that he wanted to prove that the causes of peptic ulcer may be due to helicobacter pylori or it is also abbreviated as h pylori to prove his hypothesis he has used himself a helicobacter pylori infection and again by using different types of antibiotic he proved that the chances or occurrence of peptic ulcer is due to the helicobacter pylori now coming to the next scientist that was francosis barre in 2008 there was a discovery of hiv virus now next one is william c cam bell and in 2015 the nobel prize was given to him because of the nobel therapy against infection caused by roundworm parasites at the last of this video to you you was awarded with the nobel prize in 2015 for the discovery of concerning against the novel therapy of malaria he discovered different types of therapy which was not as like traditional therapy then that was very useful for the treatment of malaria so these were some scientists who were awarded with the nobel prize for their contribution in the field of pharmacology thank you very much for watching and listening this video namaskar take care